The first thing that I want you to do when you are planning to insert audio narrations into an existing copy of a Google, Google Slides presentation is to create a folder in your Google Drive. I've called this folder Audio Narrations. So this is where I'm going to put all of my um, sound bites that I want to add in to my presentation. The easiest way, or one easy way, is to use this online voice recorder. So when you go to this site, you're going to use the URL online hyphen voice hyphen recorder dot com. You see that you get the instructions right here. Click the button to start recording. I'm going to click and now I can go ahead and record everything that I need to clarify on the slide that I'm working on. Once I'm done recording, I'll hit the stop button and then I can listen back. Next, I'll hit save. You see that it went straight to my downloads file. It's done processing. So now I will go to my audio narrations folder, open my downloads folder, and pull up the two that I have done. One I did earlier, and the second one I just did with you. Now I can return to my tab with the best practices and so I will go to insert audio and since I just uploaded those two audio files I can see them in recent as well as they're showing up here at the top because I've chosen last modified to go um, from most recent to oldest. So I'm going to put this first recording in. I'm going to select it with one click and then uh, click the select button. And here we have my audio recording right there on the first slide. Next, I'll move over to my next slide and do the same thing. Insert audio, select the second one, and I know that this is the second one because I've got in parentheses one, so I would do all uh, several recordings at once in the online voice recorder and just keep inserting them and I can move that icon around and I can listen to it and make sure that I'm happy um, uh, with the content. It automatically saves. You see all changes are saved in Drive. This is what the students will see, the icon right there with the play button. And that's all there is to it.